What's up guys? All right, so today we are doing a video on how to increase your bench and just how to bench correctly. You know, have good form so you don't injure yourself either. So uh, we'll get into some tips first. All right, I like to warm up on the bench with a lighter weight and work my way up to my working set. But before I do that, I like to warm up my shoulders and triceps because my shoulder will give me a lot of issues if I'm warming up. I like this, I got it from my friend Ralph. Uh, Shout out usually to I would use some dumbbells, but you know, you don't want to lose your bench if it's a crowded day. So this gives you a way to like work out on your bench still. Let me think. Did you start it? <laughs> Hi guys. So my first big tip is you have to arch your back a little bit. You don't have to do like those dramatic arches like you see in powerlifting meets, right? You know, you don't want something like that, only if you're a powerlifter. So you just want a slight back arch. You don't want your middle back like touching, right? It should be on your shoulder blades and your butt. And then your feet on the ground. Those are your contact points, right? Your, your middle of your back and your lower back should not be touching. Just like this. Super small. That's all you need. Generally, for taller people or people with longer arms, you're going to want to go wider. And for people with shorter arms who are shorter, you're going to want to go narrow. But at the end of the day, it's what you're comfortable with. I got people who bench super close grip and then people who go super wide. So it's whatever works for you. But generally, you want it so like when you reach the bottom of the uh, benching motion, your arm is like straight up and down, right? Perpendicular. And the closer your grip is, the more tricep you usually use, and the wider you go, the more it engages your uh, front delt, your, like the front of your shoulder and chest. Another thing, another thing is your wrist support, okay? You want your wrists to be straight. And a good way to keep them straight during the lift is to grip the bar as hard as you can. Even though it's a push movement, you want to treat it like a pull movement. You want to grip it as hard as you can. This will help keep your wrist straight, all right? Nope. You'll feel so much stronger gripping it hard, trust me. Another thing is you have to keep your feet planted, okay? And you want to like put yourself in a spring position almost. This is how I like to do it. I position myself behind the bar, right? And I put my feet down, plant them there. Right? And then I scooch down. See how this loads my feet? That's gonna give you a lot more leg drive, okay? And that's gonna help a lot. So this uh, exercise is called the plateau breaker. It's just for when you're stuck on a weight, can't get past it. It's just a way to like get more muscle using a lighter weight. So first you want to start off with little half reps. You know, you're going up to halfway and then back down, up halfway, halfway, back down, etc. And then you're gonna go pump out as much as you can. And you want a partner behind you pushing until pushing you until you can't pick up your last rep. And he, he even helps you with that last rep. And then for the second set, you want to do up all the way to the top, then halfway down, up, half, half, up, half, half, up, half. And then you want also want your partner helping you with the last rep. Yep. All right, guys, and one more thing. My training for bench, I'll do it like mm, two times a week. That's all you really need. Three times a week is a bit much, especially if you've been benching a while. You're just going to not be able to recover from the training you're doing. I recommend doing one day of hypertrophy work with the bench which is more reps right and then lighter weight um and then i recommend doing a strength day too for bench where you lift a heavier weight for less reps this combination will get you the best of both worlds right muscle gain 
and a higher bench. You need to work both to get a heavier bench. Thanks guys for watching the video. Uh, I hope I did a good job explaining how to increase your bench, guys. The plateau breaker is a great way to get past like a you know certain weight that you can't get past you know you lower the weight and then do the you know half reps low and then half reps up top and have a partner help you even when you can't do anymore have them help you push past failure that will help big time guys